Hey guys, um, just before you're really worried, don't worry, Scott. This, this is simulated trading, okay? It's not real money. Um, I mean, it's 100 bucks, I guess. Um, I just made a video about the 24 hour banking cycle and when to expect a higher low, and we had a pretty attractive high during the London session here put in at 0515, and we ran it before the. the PPI release, uh, which is coming up um, in 15 minutes, and I'm not exactly sure how to interpret that. The book looks very out of balance to me. Uh, they haven't been running the sell side at all. They've been leaving all the sell side intact. And so it's very strange for them to run London liquidity before New York even opens. I mean, usually even on a consolidation day, they'll wait, you know, New York will run London later. So to run oh, that 05, basically what I'm saying is that this is kind of an odd odd scenario. Uh, that 015, or that London high there, 0516 up at uh, 559 three quarters, to run that before the PPI number comes out uh, is a very unique is very unique. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how to interpret that. What I will say is that in my personal opinion, this this book looks very out of balance to me and it looks very um, net very net long right now and I don't know. I I would hasten to guess probably down, but I you know I, I, I can't say guys, I'm not a financial advisor, not financial advice, I'm not telling you to buy or sell or do anything. Uh, but having just made a video on when you should expect the daily high or low, seeing the same day that I make the video an exception to that, guys, it's not usual. I'm just telling you, it's not typical for that London 0516 high there for price to come up before the economic release, before the New York Stock Exchange opens, to come and sweep that. That is not something that you will see very often. Usually that London high or low is going to stick in place at least until, even on a consolidation day, it's usually going to stick until um, the London Stock Exchange closes, which I think is at 11.30. So you wouldn't really see this sort of thing until usually like New York PM session after 13.30. So for London to run itself like this ahead of a U.S. economic release uh, is interesting. So we'll, we will see how this plays out. Bye.